Hi, this is Craig and Andrew. We think ghosts may exist. We are here to find out about supernatural experiences in commentary. 43% of people are believed to have experienced paranormal activities. We went to the old cathedral in the Herbert Art Gallery to start the investigation. We're here in the um, medieval undercroft, which is now underneath the, the modern day Herbert Art Gallery and Museum. Um, this dates from the 14th century. Um, when it was originally built as, uh, I believe, rich merchants' houses, and this would have been a storage cellar which would have been underneath those houses. And as you can see, it's got a really sort of spooky atmosphere. You know, there's very much of a, a chill in the air and it's all dark and we've got this fantastic vaulted ceiling with, with roots hanging down. And, and a number of people have actually said that they've um, seen something mysterious or spooky down here. A number of people have, have sensed a presence, as it were. Um, and a little while ago we actually had a, a team who spent the night here and did some testing for paranormal activity um, but I don't think they actually found anything in the end um, so it's still an open question I suppose as to whether there is anything uh, here or not really. There are many experiences of ghosts in Coventry. These include monks, grey ladies and phantom trucks. What have people actually seen? We're here to find that out. I don't know whether I'm scared of ghosts because I've never seen one, but my mum has. And the, the one that she told me that I thought was the scariest was when I was a little baby and we were living at my grandma's house and I was in her arms because I must have only been a few months old and she was walking down my grandma's stairs and my bottle flew past her head. Every time my sister, who's like a bit older than me, used to come to my grandma's house, she would have to, I would have to go everywhere with her because she just felt a cold chill all the time and it was very, very scary. Floating sort of above the door was um, like a little shape, but it definitely had eyes and it was very weird looking. But all I, could, all I knew that it was, it glowed in the dark as well, so you could see like a little white light around it. And I just looked at it and I felt really scared. And sometimes in my bedroom I'd see like weird lights and stuff, but I always just, just used to try and ignore them. <laughs> no, I don't think I believe in ghosts. Uh, I think some people may have a higher sensitivity, but basically I, I don't think there's anything there. There's nothing to be seen, nothing to be felt. I think it's just all made up and it's in people's heads. Some different experiences and approaches on the supernatural there. What started our interest in ghosts? When I first saw ghosts, it did scare me quite a lot. My heart must have been racing twice the rate that it usually does. I seen ghosts when I was about five years old on my great grandma's flat. Walked into the room, I turned on the light, I went to, but it didn't work, and there was loads of ghosts just flying everywhere, cackling like witches. And it kind of, it did really scare me at the time. And then I turned the light back on, and it just disappeared. So when I was eight, uh, seeing me and my friend, we went to his house and we seen a red uh, eye ghost in the attic, and the attic was cold. It was just standing there, like, still, staring at us. I haven't seen any ghosts lately. But I ain't scared of them. Anyway. We will never know if they exist or not. Anyhow, it's been fun in search for ghosts even though we are no closer to the truth from the start. We will both kill you. We will both kill you. I'll skin you alive. Yes, we will skin you like maggots. I'll yes. take you skin you like maggots. Yes, to the devil. Yes, there to the is devil. nothing left. Nothing for you. You will die. You will, you will not die. live. You will not succeed. There's no hope.